The views expressed in this program do not necessarily reflect those of this station. Welcome to Insights into Northeast Michigan, a WBKB News public affairs program. Insights deals with the issues affecting those in the community, as well as Northeast Michigan and the state. And now, Insights into Northeast Michigan. Welcome everyone to another edition of Insights. I'm Bethany Ricciardi. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm here at Art in the Loft joined with gallery coordinator Justin Christensen Cooper along with a board member Amber Hess. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thanks for having us. So you are celebrating 15 years at Art in the Loft, is that correct? That is correct, this uh, October. Alrighty, so can we kind of start from the beginning? How did Art in the Loft start? Why was it created? Sure, it was, it was back in 2001. Um, actually right after 9-11 and so it was even questioned if it should should start but it was a group of artists and community members and art enthusiasts uh, business members as well that wanted to start a, a one-time show up in this space uh, on the third floor of the center building and uh, you know they decided to go for it and it was such a resounding almost a, a fresh of breath air uh, for the community after such a tragic event um, that it was you know re so well received that well let's keep it going let's let's do this more and uh, uh, things started building and happening and, and programming started to happen. So. so what is the overall mission here? You mentioned you've been a board member for six years. How have you seen that mission grow? Sure. The, the mission is, you know, is to include our community into hands-on participation in the arts, to have a well-rounded education and appreciation for the arts, but to do that in our growing fine arts center uh, through that programming. And so we've, we've been able and lucky enough to to really succeed with that mission through uh, you know, the benefit of our community members and, and board members such as Amber and, and really dedicated to the arts. Would you agree? I do, yes. Um, over the years we've really developed different programs, um, especially um, programs for youth and there's a great program called Ready, Set, Create which brings in students to the loft and they just really um, love soaking up the art in the space and they get to learn about art education and appreciation and they get to create art and that's just been a great program. And art isn't always exactly the only thing you do here, right? I know you have the kitchen in the back and I've even heard of weddings taking place here and different things like yeah, that. Yeah, really it's become more of a fine arts hub, not just, uh, you know, it did stem from that one visual arts exhibit, um, but it really has become more of the uh, the hands-on and, and doing that through different variations of what fine art is and we've been lucky enough to have visual arts the addition of the kitchen in 2014 um, and through the culinary arts and really expand <coughs> excuse me expand our our age range to, uh, that experiences mm -hmm. that now I know a lot of um, the artwork that comes here is, is from the state you know state artists how, how would you say that the Alpena community kind of contributes to the operations that take place here um, yes, each um, winter view or summer view season when we have our, our art exhibits, there are many local artists right from the area that are included and then like, as you mentioned from around the state um, we have artists and um, the community really comes here in a lot of different ways for different events. At the kickoff of every exhibit we have a community event and that has really become popular and um, like you mentioned the kitchen, the people come from the community for the classes, the culinary classes have been a great hit. Um, and then in the spring we have a young artist exhibit and this brings in literally hundreds of pieces of artwork from all over the area from students and they get to come and show their family and their friends that they are artists and they get to have their work displayed here so it really brings in um, thousands of people from the area yep. which is really neat to see. So how does it feel to celebrate 15 years? It's great, yeah. it really has and you know I've been here since uh, 2013 so this okay. is really only my, I've been here three of the 15 years um, but we've been lucky enough to see such growth and it, it feels fantastic. I feel like I've been here since the beginning. Actually, I have been here since the beginning. I was actually in the first, as a senior in high school, in the very first Young Artist exhibit. So oh, wow. things kind of came full circle for me personally growing up in the area and then being able to, to uh, work in my passion, which is the arts. And I've been so lucky enough to, to live that every day and to have community members that also feel, feel the same way. 
And so to, to celebrate 15 is great, and we you know, expect wonderful things from the next 15 as well. So. So any big things coming up to celebrate these 15 years? Definitely. Um, this fall is going to be our 15th anniversary uh, celebration. It's going to be the entire month of October. And uh, what we're going to be doing are Friday events uh, every single Friday in October. And we're going to be opening that up with our first annual juried art exhibit. And that's what's going to be taking place. It has the theme of black and white. Uh, we have a wonderful juror, Beverly Benson Wolf, for that from the Detroit area, and she's been a long standing exhibiting artist here uh, who works in photography, black and white herself, uh, color, uh, you know, she's, she's seen the gamut, but she has such an appreciation for all types of art that I think she's going to be perfect for the juror for this. So, what really what we're, we're asking the community too is there's still time to get in uh, submissions for that show up until September 5th. Uh, we have a website for that, and uh, hopefully we, we were able to show that to the community. And uh, you know, anybody that, that has a, a knack for art, that is a professional artist, or you know, uh, has a certain piece that they think is also very good for this show, uh, we ask that if it fits the theme of black and white, we would love for them to, to submit artwork for that. And the reason we picked black and white is actually one of the uh, co-founders of uh, you know, the starting force of Art in the Loft back when it started and why we're celebrating 15 years today is uh, Susan Lane Bastow. And uh, her work is exemplified in black and white photography. And we're going to be honoring uh, her presence with that, uh, you know, her memorial with that show. And we can't wait to do so. And, uh, you know, she was such a, a, str a striving force to make Art in the Loft happen. And we get to, to celebrate uh, her style of work and uh, kind of her enthusiasm uh, uh, with the artwork and making sure Art in the Loft uh, what's going to happen. So we, we, we're going to be uh, so wonderful to honor her, her memorial for that. So it's going to be great. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So for some of our viewers who might not know, what is a jured art con like exhibit? Definitely. Yeah, good question. Um, what this is going to be is uh, there's, a, there's a fee to enter, up $35 for up to three images. And uh, you kind of pay into the show. And then what happens is they, each individual piece is scored on a rubric. And that's where Beverly Benson Wolf comes in, and she she determines if that piece of work uh, fits the score. And if it receives a high enough score, then we get to exhibit it up in the gallery for that whole entire month, where the works will be for sale. And then we have an opening reception on that first Friday, which is October seventh, um, where we where Beverly will be. Uh, revealing the winners so we have a best of show second place third place and an honorable mention as well and then for the public to come and see this is there specific hours and, and times to come in yeah and that's going to be uh, october 7th to the 29th um, and we have our regular normal gallery hours which is tuesday through saturday 11 a.m to 6 p.m and we're really hoping that we get a great turnout for mm -hmm. that artist reception on that first night uh, we're, we're, that's going to be open and free to the public, and they get to see all this wonderful artwork mm. that fits the theme. It's going to be it's going to be fantastic to see the you know this unique space uh, filled with artwork that all fits that that one simple black and white theme. So, so 15 years is a big accomplishment. Any future plans that you might want to mention? You know, looking forward, I'm sure you're hoping for another 15, huh? That's that's <laughs> the main goal here. Yeah, we uh, and and Amber can help me explain this too. But on October 21st, which is going to be our third Friday mm -hmm. event, um, yearly we have a, a fundraiser. Is what we call it, not a fundraiser, but a fundraiser. Uh, although we are seeking funds, um, <laughs> but we do it in a fun way. Right. And usually we hold our annual Glamour and Gourmet event, which has been a signature event for the gallery and really pushes it into the next year with the funds needed in order to, you know, uh, you know pay staff, make sure that our lights are on, that kind of thing, right. but to have that educational programming that brings so many of our community members in. Um, but it won't be Glamour Gourmet this year. It's going to be another event that fits that theme, and we're calling it the Black and White Gala, mm. um, which is going to be fantastic. Um, October 21st, tickets are going to go on sale very soon, so we're going to have a big publicity push with that. Um, but the nice thing about this is it's open to couples, individuals, uh, men and women, uh, you know, everybody can come in and we're going to have wonderful auction packages, uh, artwork to, that will be here for the show. We're going to have um, very high profile artists, I can't name yet, yeah. but um, yeah. that fit the black and white right. theme. Yep. Um, and they're going to be up here and, and exhibiting. It's going to come back to the art and it's going to be all yep. about fine arts and, and really why we, we started this gallery. Yep. So. Awesome. And there'll be some good food too. Because oh, yeah. we always, Can't forget we about always have great food at our, at our events. That's <laughs> exactly. Even important. That's yep. how you get them, isn't yeah. it? That's <laughs> how we sell tickets. That's right. I wanted to <laughs> just mention that one thing that's also awesome about this 15th year is that we unveiled the. Um, the mural project, the community mural oh, yeah. project, yes. and it's uh, definitely not black and white. If you've seen it, you know it's every color and 
that exists is pretty yeah. much in that mural yeah. in the pocket park on Chisholm Street. But uh, we're just excited that, that we were uh, able to fantastic. help bring that to the community. Absolutely. So. And that it's coming out in this 15th mm -hmm. year, I think, is great. You know, we talk about our flagship programs yeah. of, of Ready, Set, Create and our, mm -hmm. our exhibits, but this is a flagship project that really has been a culmination of what we're all about up here. So. Great. Yeah. Well, thank you so much again for the both of you being here today. We appreciate it. Thank you for the time. And thank you for joining us. And don't go anywhere because when we come back, we'll talk more about how Art in the Loft is celebrating their 15 years.